Hello friends. The next topic which we are going to see is basic elements of digital signal processing. Now before that we should know what is this, what is the basic block diagram of signal processing. When we want to do the signal processing, we are going to get an analog signal. There will be a block which is going to process on that signal and we are going to get an analog output. Suppose the input signal is S of T, the impulse response of the block is H of T and we know that the output will be S of T convoluted with H of T. This is this can be a block diagram of a analog signal processor. In this block, there has to be a digital processing so that we can call this processing as digital signal processing. In this block, we are going to have a digital processing. So before going to digital processing, first we need to convert an analog signal into a digital signal. This is the analog signal. which will be given to A to D converter and we are going to get a digital signal. Now this digital signal, now this A to D converter will have three blocks. First is sampler, second hold circuit. Third, quantization, quantization block. This block diagram will look like this. Analog signal. This is sampler. This is hold. quantization and output will be digital signal. What sampler will do? Sampler will take a samples of this analog signal and the output will be like this and the output will look like this we need this is a continuous time signal and this is discrete time signal the output which we will be getting will not be a digital signal to do that we need the block of quantization that is a coder we need to code these labels but coder will take some time to code it. So to provide that time we need a cold circuit and after that we need a quantization. So by this block we are going to convert analog signal to a digital signal. After getting a digital signal what we are going to do? This is a digital signal. We are going to process that. So this will be a digital processor. And we are going to get a digital out. This is the internal block of the digital processor. Now this digital signal has to get converted into analog signal so that we will we can fade to the other systems like speaker. To do that this digital signal has to 
given to a digital to analog converter and the output will be analog signal so this is the end of our processing and this is explained in this graph we give the analog signal we sample and hold it and this is analog to digital converter this can be called as a coder depending upon the quantization level the coding will be done and it will be given to the digital processor after that a digital to analog converter is used after that analog low pass filter is used and we will get the analog output now we have seen all this block diagram except why we are using the analog low pass filter so whenever we are going to get a uh, output from digital to analog converter we are going to get a signal like this so this is a digital signal the output will be something like this it should be instead of that it should be something like this and these are high frequency components and if we'll pass this through a low pass filter then we are going to get this smooth graph now keep in mind in many of the book this low pass filter is shown before the analog to digital converter which is completely wrong and you are going to lose the marks in this in local author books it is shown like this which is completely wrong and i will advise you to avoid this kind of mistake so this is our block diagram of the dsp we are going to give the analog signal a sample and hold block then we are going to convert that to a digital signal so this is the block diagram of dsp we are going to give the analog signal to it it will be sample and hold at this point there will be a discrete time signal which we are going to code it according to quantization level and after this we are going to get a digital signal that digital signal we are going to process the output of the digital process again we need to convert into the analog signals we are going to use digital to analog converter we know that it will have the high frequency components like this to remove that we are going to use the analog low pass filter and then we will get very smooth analog output so that is the basic element of dsp thank you